Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Hope you're all keeping well. I'm in a rush once again. I feel like I'm always starting these videos in a rush and I apologize. I'm literally about to head out the door. We're going to Glebe Markets, which is like a vintage food market, like vintage clothes, food, all that crack. So that's where we're going today. And yeah, I'm gonna take you with me. I'll show you my outfit, I actually love it. Girls, right. This is the fit. Love. We're here at the markets and it's literally packed. And it's also massive, I wasn't expecting it to be so big. But we're at the food section. Shannon's here as well. I think I'm gonna try the dumplings first. I went for dumplings. I got a mixed wrap chicken and donor. What's it like? All right. These are tasty as fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? I can't stop. What do you reckon? Oh yeah. This is it. Oh yeah. What do you think of them? I actually love those. Isn't that pretty? That's pretty. Shannon's picking up these two. This top. Apparently they're handmade in Thailand, so... Fark. <laughs> they're actually really pretty. Sick. So we'll be first. That is so fucking nice. Yeah. I got a fresh lemonade out of this stand. Absolutely scrum diddly artist. Do you want to taste the challenge? Yeah. Mm. You better not backwash. <laughs> I did. <laughs> you bet you. Hello, 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 hello. Sorry, I'm just up. I wanted to check my voice there. Do you know the way when you wake up and you haven't spoke yet and it's just like the first thing out of your mouth always sounds a bit funny? These are all keeping well. These are looking well. We're going to talk getting back on track, getting back in the groove of things. Just getting our lives sort of before Christmas. Like I keep seeing TikToks and they're like, don't be trying to excuse yourself by saying it's nearly the end of the year, I'll start in the new year. It's October. There's literally 12 weeks of the year left and I always get in that mentality of like, oh, I'll start in the new year. And then it never happens, nothing ever happens for me. Yeah, I feel like I can achieve a lot before Christmas. Like, I do not have to wait until New Year to start treating my body better. I can do it now. I could have good results by Christmas, do you know what I mean? Like, I could be feeling great at Christmas and then just carry it on into the New Year. That's the attitude we're going with. We're on our last quarter of the year, so we need to make it count, girls. We need to make it count. I'm out in the balcony, it's half eight. I haven't went on my phone yet. I'm gonna ice roll my face, journal a little bit. Last night I just set a bit of time after the shower to sit down and try and plan my week, see what's coming up, if there's anything big that I need to do. My life's very mismatched at the minute, especially because I'm unemployed. I don't know if I've told you if I'm unemployed yet. I've just been sloppy girls, I can't explain it. I haven't stuck to a routine in so long. I've say I've done a full working week of being in routine and being on top of things and then as soon as the weekend comes, everything's out the window. I've been ordering Uber Eats flat out, like I just feel really groggy and shitty. I was looking back on my one line a day journal, you know the one that like is over five years and I was just writing it and I read last year's like slot. In my cycle I can only explain as toxic girls because I feel the exact same way as I felt back then and it's just been repetitive. I'm just continuously writing about how I'm going to change my life and this is it and I'm going to stop and then it just never ends up like that. I don't know. Not to get deep with these all but I'm a very like, I'm an emotional eater. If I'm upset I'll probably eat all around me or something triggers me I'll like eat all around me and I just need to address it to be honest I probably do need to go to a therapist and like work out why that is this is how my Sundays usually go we say fuck it like tomorrow is the day we're starting and I just binge all day feel like crap sugar levels through the roof like just crap teeth are actually sore like just pure shit and then Monday comes and I feel I still feel groggy from eating so much Sunday should be a day of reset should be a day where we're setting ourselves up not pulling ourselves down. So I definitely have a habit of binge eating and it is the bane of my life because you don't think you're gonna get as heavy and then. So yeah, really long intro, but that's the truth of it. It's just, it's hard. Like the formula is not hard. Like losing weight shouldn't be hard and I know what to do. I know all it takes is a calorie deficit and I just need to move a little bit more and eat a bit cleaner. But it's the execution is hard. Like actually following through and doing that every day is the difficult part. It's the repetitive thing and not letting yourself fall into a huge binge. And by binge, it sounds like, oh, you're restricting yourself too much the rest of the days. I'm not, girls. I'm having 1,800 calories. And in that 1,800 calories, I'm having 
maybe a pack of crisps and a chocolate bar and I'm having three good meals for the most part like it isn't that it is just it's an emotional thing that I do a repetitive thing that I'm just stuck in and I can get out of it I know I can I just have to my mind just needs to be a bit stronger I just need to be a bit more disciplined with myself I'm not disciplined with myself I'm like treat yourself girl like I am the most treat yourself person but it just doesn't align with my goals to treat myself with food. I know a lot of you probably feel like that too. It's just, you just feel stuck in the mud, don't you? I know that I will get there. It's just the discipline. It is just literally the discipline. I'm not carrying it through. Time to plan and journal. Let's go. I'm just about to do this 10 minute meditation to start my day. It's from the Goodful page on YouTube. <sighs> Everything seems more quiet after a meditation your mind just feels quieter it's an unbelievable practice like it is actually life-changing meditation honestly if people would just not judge it as much and just give it a go like fully give it a go and let go of like the judgment of yourself and just meditate literally will clear your mind it's just so good i'm gonna get ready now to go for a walk i think i think i'll go for a nice walk down the beach listen to a podcast and then read a bit down at the beach maybe oh my god see when i wear black i am transparent i need to get some sun i really can't be bothered tanning these days i can't think of anything worse anyway folks i've done a successful two hours off my phone this morning it was so great honestly i think the worst thing you can do for your day is to start on your phone most days i'll literally just lift my phone off the bedside locker and start scrolling straight away in the morning and it's so bad for you let's just say a quick prayer that the yogurt isn't out of date okay i'm gonna make a yogurt bowl so that i can eat it down at the beach because i'm not quite hungry just yet but i will probably get hungry smells good i opened this maybe like four days ago so i'm always weary of yogurt she probably should be i mean it's dairy so watch out kids watch out for your dairy kids i'm not eating it okay so i do 125 grams of yogurt a bit of greek yog these are the seeds that i use these custards very bliss 36 88 grams of apple made it to the beach it's such a stunning day love Brought my wee packed lunch. Got myself a wee seat. I listened to the My Therapist Goes To Me pod there. I have a couple to catch up on, so I usually do that on my walks. Can't see. But I was not expecting it to be this warm. I think it's like 30 degrees, 2023. I'm going over to get a wee coffee and set my laptop up and do a bit of a plan for jobs. Read two chapters from my book there. I am enjoying it. Some of it's a wee bit, a wee bit cringe. Just finished up in the cafe. I did get a good bit done, which is happy day. I'm gonna walk home again because I'm gonna go five thousand steps. I'm home. It has started to rain, but I'm hoping that the balcony can get the stuff dry. It's given very much the North Ireland. It feels very fresh, though. I kind of love it. Can't lie. I'm making dinner. This is on the menu tonight. Nan's chicken and gravy. That's the vibes. This is perfect. Just about to head to bed. I did go a bit overboard on the snacks this evening. I think I'm like 200 calories over. So I've just deducted them from tomorrow, but. Good morning, chicas. Good bloody morning. I left my phone this morning. Rookie mistake. I left my phone. I had to text the girl back because I was supposed to meet her. I woke up at seven. <clears throat> we were supposed to go for sunrise this morning, but I kind of knew it wasn't happening. So I didn't set an alarm. I just texted her and said it's probably not going to be the one. I used it as an excuse to lift my phone. And did I sit my phone for 45 minutes? Yes. So I've been on my phone loads this morning, which I hate to do. Do you know what it is? Like, it's kind of in my head as well. Because see, when I do that, I'm like, all the days right off, which is so not the right way to go about it. Like, it's only quarter past 11. I'm going to make some breakfast, proper breakfast. Oh, I was watching Ellie Darby's video there and they were eating the Chinese takeaway. I miss Chinese. From home i miss chinese from home <laughs> oh my god do you ever sneeze and it cracks like three bones in your back i never properly updated just last night after dinner so yesterday was a field to prepare kind of day so i got up i spent the morning really nicely i walked down to the beach i applied for jobs done a bit of planning by the time i got back home it was like three o'clock and at that stage owen was coming home and i was like well is there any point in me making lunch right now so i ended up just having like a cup of soup and two slices of toast rookie rookie error because that never fills me and there's no protein in it like it doesn't fill me up so after that i was kind of still snackish so i had uh, one of these little bags of popcorn i made a mistake with dinner because i didn't eat any of the vegetables hello fresh kind of lightly cooks your veg i don't mind like broccoli and broccolini being like that but see green beans that are really hard not the one and it was mostly green beans so i ended up not eating any of my veg i didn't really have a substantial meal which meant that i snacked a bit and then had we had toast at like 10 because I was just starving. So I did mess up a bit. I think I went like 200 over. But now I have to compensate today. Which is very annoying. But today anyway I'm going to make some eggs and toast now. It's just a real shitty day. I'll show you the vibe. Oh. 
Yikes. You would swear we were back in the Emerald Isle. This week there's been a few rain showers. Although then it heats up really fast then after the rain showers. It's very strange. Yeah, let's make some breakfast. Let's not ruin the day. I want to shake myself and get up and head to the gym um, after it digests a little bit. But that's the crack. Let's not ruin our day over like silly things. We're only getting started folks. We don't need to... We're not ruining anything. Okay, slay. Oh, that darling. I haven't moved. I haven't moved. Ah! I've literally been sitting here scrolling on my phone on YouTube. I knew by my bad attitude this morning of how I like got on my phone straight away. I knew that it wasn't going to be great. It's taken all my power not to eat and eat and eat. It's such a shit day out that going for a walk is not appealing at all. And I know I should just go. I'm just going to be bothered. Also told myself I was going to go to the gym and I didn't. I'm talking as if the day's over like I still could. But I just don't want to go. I just don't want to go. It's three o'clock. I'm feeling lazy. I'm feeling unproductive. But I don't even care, I can't lie. And if you didn't laugh, you'd cry, girls. <laughs> I'm probably not going to be productive the rest of the day, if I'm being completely honest with you. I need to wise up. I actually need to wise up. I 100% do not recommend doing what I'm doing. We will get there, folks. Girls, she's going to kill me. It's the same day. It's now half five. And we're getting a Chinese. <laughs> oh, failure. It's so perfect. I'm just not in the mood. I've got no excuse. I'm just not in the mood to cook. I just want a Chinese. Ever since this morning when I watched Ellie Swift played up her Chinese, I've been like, I need a Chinese. This is why I'll never be skinny queen. So I am gonna enjoy my Chinese. I will insert a video of it. I'm probably just gonna close the vlog off for tonight and I'll come back in the morning when I'm hopefully feeling a bit more motivated. And guys, weight loss is not about motivation. It is about discipline and I'm literally not showing any discipline right now because frankly, you're, I can't be fucked. <laughs> I actually feel bad. I feel bad. I know you don't even give a shit, but I'm getting PTSD. I feel like I'm back at like a Weight Watchers fucking meeting next day. I just need a Chinese. Uh. But in the same breath, I do have goals and I'm not going to reach those goals by taking the easy road like I am now with this big dirty Chinese coming. I ordered salt and pepper chips, salt and pepper chicken, noodles, fried rice, curry, satay, and I'm so excited. Do as I say, not as I do. Don't eat a Chinese midweek. If you're trying to lose weight, leave it to the weekend. I just can't be bothered. Good night. I will show you my food now. Whoopsies, guys. Fell into the Chinese. It doesn't have anything on the Chinese from home, but it hits a spot. It does what it needs to do for now until we meet again. Lucky dragon. Night night. If you don't bring the wee just to bed with you, you're doing it wrong, okay? I had a couple of bad wee days where I was just feeling bad for myself, just felt like shit. I didn't leave the house. It was probably just one full day. And then I felt a bit shit yesterday morning as well. I went on my phone right away. It's the most telling thing. When I go on my phone right away in the morning, I'm not good. But then yesterday I left the apartment. So yay. Went to meet Anda. We got some soup and a coffee. And then we went for a nice walk. So Got lots of steps in. Yeah, I didn't snack too much. Like I stayed under my cows yesterday. I'm supposed to be going to the gym this week and stuff. And for some reason, I just can't push myself right now. I, I don't know. And yesterday, I just was trying not to be hard on myself. Even though what I'm doing is not even intense. Like I'm getting on as if I'm like a, in a boot camp. I'm just struggling to go to the gym. I'm gonna make my bed. We're gonna go out and journal. I'm so sorry. I didn't even address my hair right now. I, I'm doing sock curls. In the middle of the night, this one fell out. I've got my journal and I've got my coffee. Let's do things that are gonna make us happy today. Sorry, my eyes are so sensitive out in the sun, honestly. I've literally done nothing today again. I haven't left the apartment yet. I don't think I'm gonna leave. I've just done a bit of cleaning up, but I wanted to show you what I had for lunch. It was actually so tasty. I bought these yesterday at Aldi. Pork dumplings, right? They're actually really tasty. And I had it with, I bought this chili oil yesterday. So, so good. 100% recommend them. I actually don't know what to be at. I could definitely go for a walk. I just... <sighs> I just can't really be Maybe I should just go for a walk. Maybe not. <laughs> I'm so sorry if I'm really unmotivating you, but it's just the truth. Like it's, it's actually just how I'm feeling right now. I just feel unmotivated. Without the routine of getting up for work every day, I don't know how people function. I have little things to do, but like there's something about having a routine in place. There's something about getting up, knowing that you're in work for a specific amount of time. So it's nine to five, say. You're more likely to get a walk or a workout in in the morning. Well, I am anyway. And then have your evening to relax. When you're off all day, it's like, you just push everything off. It's like, you've got so much time. I don't even know when I'm gonna be working. Like, I need to get work. Got a few numbers and stuff today, so I'll maybe give people a call tomorrow. I'm so sorry, guys. This is probably the most boring video to watch. Just me deteriorating all week. <laughs> 
I'm not deteriorating. I'm actually feeling quite good. I don't know. I don't, I don't feel guilty right now for sitting like this. I think I'm just realizing I have so much time in the day. I think the guilt comes from like not working out and stuff, but like I just don't bloody want to work out. So why would I? God, I'm just so tired. I started drinking chamomile tea last night. It was actually really, really nice. And I brought it down to bed with me and it just felt right felt like i was calming down i was unwinding i watched um i got the laptop out put on nordvpn and watched uh, itv's olivia atwood versus the troll such a cozy evening so enjoyable but yeah it's done guys it's dinner time i have steak tonight beef rump roast veggie medley hello fresh we're not turning into a cooking channel anytime yet folks but who knows Have you ever seen something more beautiful than that? Bone up the feed. Gorgina. Dinner's done. This is where we will be sitting for the rest of the evening. Okay. No. Wait. Hey. Can't remember if I spoke to you yesterday, but guys, I'm not good. I've just been in a pure slump. I was just going to delete this video because I was like... This is probably so interesting and shit, but it's just like real. But I'm forcing myself to go out. I need to get some storage for the bathroom. I'll show you this now. I got this little rack out of, it was either Ikea or Kmart. I'm not 100% sure, but as you can see, everything's just thrown on there. So I need to get some like containers to separate things. Just something to make it look a bit prettier. This is the bathroom, by the way, I feel like. I don't know if I've showed you it a lot. Pretty basic, but cute. Cute. I might take a bath this evening. Owen is away to the bar with his friend. They came in there. So I'm thinking I'm going to have a bath. Some skincare. Let's go. Nothing like a hairbrush, a lip liner, and an eyelash curler. Can't fix. Let me tell you. Feel a lot better already. <laughs> Guys, I'm so sorry for this roller coaster I'm bringing you on. I'm sorry that you just have to be victim to this vlog. Like, I'm just trying to be real, but this is how we get out of a slump, okay? We need to shake ourselves out of the slump constantly. We might fall back into the slump. A matter of getting yourself out once, you have to get up again. It's not about how many times you fall down. It's about how many times you fall down. Get back up. Sorry. Motivational. Motivational. When I come home, I'm gonna tidy up that kitchen, tidy up my space, light some candles, get a bath, and relax myself and my head. Let's just go to the shops. Guys, I'm here. Have you just heard this cover by Sabrina Carpenter of Taylor Swift? That is the most angelic sound I've ever heard. I just wanna cry. I think I might just have to cry. I don't even know what I'm crying about. Let me check my app to see if my period's due. Um. Time. Why did I think it wasn't for another two weeks? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, that makes total sense. Uh, my period is due tomorrow. That's why I feel like this. So worried about myself there. It's pre-menstrual. It's pre-menstrual. How could I not have checked that sooner? I did check that. I must have dreamt that I checked that and it said 11 days and that's why I was so confused about why I was feeling so low because normally obviously you go up and down through the month but like see the week before my period I'm constantly oh I'm always in a really down thing that's what this is how do you get tampons <laughs> keep checking your flow app girls I'm hoping Owen binned my cotton on receipt I have two bikini bottoms that I need to send back but I don't have the receipt but they are tagged and they have their hygiene strips and everything so I'm hoping they're dead on but I don't think it will be but oh my god this makes so much sense we're going to Starbucks first I think I want a warm coffee yeah I think I want something warm in my belly I'm so glad that that's what that is oh panic over girls it's just premenstrual yay can I get a hot chocolate please Cotton on first. I'm gonna taste the hot chocolate. I got hot chocolate because I was feeling bad for being so hard on myself when it was just my time of the month. You know how it hits in your belly. You know it. I've, it's lifted me up so much to know that it was that and not just it's like a low mood. Do you know what I mean? Because it's kind of worrying when you get a low mood. You know the crack. I haven't got a lot of time in here. It closes half five. I can't explain how improved I feel. I got my bikini bottoms changed so they took up without the receipt. Happy days. Buzzing about it. Whoopsies. Successful though. Decided I'm gonna get a wee coloring book. Look at how cool all these are. I'm gonna get this one. Modern Magic coloring book. 
Like, look how cute that is. Little markers. I'm getting the bubble tea. I'm just out of coals there. I got a pet of stuff for like a bath. I'll show you when I get home properly, but I'm gonna have a bubble tea. Bath time. Oh, okay, so we're back in the car. Let's pop this boy open. Why is it not? Sorry, there's a hole at the side of this. I was coming up like the moving escalator thing and my bubble tea fell, rolled all the way down. A guy in full army gear caught it at the bottom of the escalator. So there's a wee hole outside of it, that's why the pop wasn't that satisfying. Here's test. That's nice, I got the lychee squared with apple and raspberry pearls. Okay, I'm home. I've been home for about an hour. I'm still drinking that. I wanna do a quick haul of what I got. This is Kmart. I still haven't got a lot of storage for my stuff, like things don't have a place. My makeup doesn't have a place or anything. Um, and I do need to get proper Ikea drawers, but this is what I do for my makeup, just for now. I got like the little modular storage, these drawers. Just to keep like makeup and stuff in. It's currently just in a makeup bag. I don't know, it's just messy. Like. These are like stackable boxes. Really smart. Really fucking smart of them. Okay, they look shit like, but all together this was like $50, which is like £25. That's the vibe. So that's that. Four small organizers. Kind of love that. These two big ones for the bathroom. You know the black shelf and I showed you earlier. I was just thinking I could put one of these in each. See how they fit. I don't know what they'll be like. That's a job for later on, after my wee bath. I got these two little jars, one for earbuds and one for the cotton pads for the bathroom. The minute they're just lying in there. I got this jewelry divider. I'll open it actually. Jeez. This vlog might be really long because I have vlogged so much. I've run out of storage in this SD card three times since the starting this vlog. That's the little jewelry divider. Just thought it would be cute in the bedroom. I got a green bed sheet to match the bedding. Three pairs of socks, phone case. Oh, two, two, two. I love two, it's my favourite number. The edges, I've been throwing the phone about obviously. I got the colouring book that I showed you earlier. Buzzing about that. I got this candle out of Kmart. It's one of the ones that crackle. One of those bad boys. And I've had this one before and I love the smell of it. She's empty. Grapefruit, orange blossom and white flowers. And I'm not normally a fruity scent kind of lover, but it's very fresh. I got this candle for the bedroom. And here's my markers. So after my bath, I'm gonna color in while watching a YouTube video. Then I went into Kohl's because I wanted to get Carmax. Really bright, isn't it? I don't know what it is about CarMax, but I cannot keep it. I've never got to the bottom of CarMax. I use it constantly, but I don't know where it goes. Got another CarMax. While I was in there, these were on offer. Blistec lip cells. I actually want to try this now. I'm so sweaty right now. I got these Muscle Relax Salts from Redox. Two face masks. These were on offer. I got the Hydro Bomb Sheet Mask and the Super Hydrating and Brightening Vitamin C from Garnier. So I'll definitely use one of them this evening. Some tampons for my period that's coming tomorrow apparently. I can't tell you how much that lifted a weight off my shoulders. When I feel down, I kind of beat myself up for actually feeling down as well. Cause I'm like, you have no reason to feel like this. Why are you feeling like this? So then when there is a reason, I feel a lot better. It's a cycle. And then I got the got to be glued wand. It helps with like stray hairs and your eyebrows. So that's everything. It was such a good idea for me to go to the shops today. I was gonna be stuck in that hole all day, but I shook myself off and I got out. You just have to get out of the house. I spent too much time in the house this week. Right, let's go and get a bath. Beach. Small city thinking, I get why you left. Small minded people, sure know how to drink. I came to the party, I laughed at the jokes you made. I wish that I had not now the jokes on me. actually glorious. The bath bomb I use leaves like a little glitter. Intergalactic bath bomb from Lush. I've been using it for years. I don't know if you can see the little flecks of glitter. A gorgeous little like speck. But Owen's on his way home. He's got pizza coming. He's finished up at the bar. I'm gonna close out the vlog here. I feel so much better today. Thanks for coming with me guys. Like I haven't done my Q&A yet. I know, I know I literally, I've had the questions for like two weeks. <laughs> you just have seen what I've been like this week. I was hardly gonna do a Q&A like. I feel in bad form. So I'm just gonna end the vlog here. I love yous and I'll leave yous. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm so, so grateful for anyone who subscribed. It really helps. It helps push my videos out to new viewers. YouTube's quite a hard one to navigate. Like, it's not just like TikTok where you can put it out and everybody can see it. YouTube is a whole different ballgame. Very hard in that way. But I love you all. Have a nice week. Don't feel down in the dumps too much. And always check your flow up. I love you. Bye.